What's up, everybody? Doc Dog went on a five. There's levels to this. Yo, the whole Square Enix Final Fantasy debacle thing that's going on. I just want, I just want, I just want, I want to ask some questions. I want to be educated on this, okay? I'm not a Final Fantasy fan myself. I'm not, okay? So take my, my words with a grain of salt. But this is what I want to tell you. If Sony somehow figured out a way to make Grand Theft Auto 6 exclusive to the PlayStation 5, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a PlayStation 5. There's no if, answer, buts about it. That's a game that I'm going to want to play. And I'm going to play it. And if that means I can only play it on that console, then good on Sony for doing what they had to do to get my money. As of right now, there's nothing over there that I see that makes me want to give them my money. But if they were to do something like that, boom, I'm getting it. Now, the reason I use that game, Grand Theft Auto, is because I like the Grand Theft Auto series. But... For all of you out there that are upset with Square Enix and are upset with Sony, understand it's just business, right? So something must have made sense. Something must have made sense for Square Enix to do this. It is what it is. Something must have made sense. If you want to play that game, though, I think... The idea of boycotting a publisher or developer or anything like that, I think it's the wrong message if you if you really want to play that game. Because at the end of the day, I put the responsibility on Microsoft and on Sony and on Nintendo to give us the experiences that we want. Not anybody else. That's it. So Microsoft is the one that should figure out a way to get Square Enix to play nice. That's it. The same way that if Sony finds a way to get Rockstar to only put Grand Theft Auto 6 on the PlayStation, I've said it plenty of times, plenty of times. I'm only loyal to one thing, and that's God. And I mess that up all the time. I ain't going to be loyal to none of these plastic boxes when they ain't loyal to me either, okay? It doesn't mean that PlayStation will become my favorite console just because of one game, but I will get a PlayStation 5. The Xbox will probably still be my favorite platform, but the PlayStation 5 would have gotten my money. It just, it just is what it is. So if you're someone that's a huge fan of this franchise, Final Fantasy, and this really hurts you, seeing that it's not coming to Xbox? No, it's not an L for you. In, in your situation, this is an L for Xbox. You go ahead and get yourself a PlayStation and play the game that you like because you are a gamer and you play games, you don't play corporations. And for all, don't worry about all the dumb ponies that are celebrating, acting as if Final Fantasy being an exclusive to their platform makes the game even greater. We already know that this, that's a stupidity that they have that's never going to leave them. And then every single time they lose another exclusive and another exclusive, especially the PC, they look dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber. So don't even worry about that. You play the game. That's what I'm going to say. Now, if you don't feel that strongly about it, right? So, for instance, myself, I don't feel that strongly about it, right? I'm not, I'm not going to go over there and play it. And maybe if, maybe if Square Enix would have made a deal with Xbox and Microsoft and maybe would have dropped one of these games on Game Pass, they probably would have gotten another fan in me, Right? I probably would have tried the games. Someone probably would have told me, yeah, it's on X, on Game Pass. It's amazing. I go ahead, try it. And I probably would have tried it. And who knows? They might have gotten a new fan. They ain't getting a new fan now because I'm, I'm not buying a PlayStation for that game. Not, not, not remotely close. 
I don't even remember the last Square Enix game I I, I bought or played. I, so I'm good. I'm chilling. But again, if you're a huge Square Enix fan, don't deprive yourself of playing a game that you want just to show Square Enix, uh, teach them a lesson. Like, nah, go ahead. Play the game that you want to play. Play the game that you want to play. And if you already have a PS5, if, if you already have a PS5, I, what are you complaining about? If you have a PS5 and an Xbox, what are you complaining about? And if you're going to say the principle, please explain what the principle is. I would, I, I would please educate me. I would love to know. Dog Dog went on A5. There's levels to this. Exclusivity only benefits the companies. But at the end of the day, you as a consumer, you have choices. If you really want to play something, play it on the platform you want to play. I mean, Nintendo has been doing it since forever, right? And nobody says anything about them. Dog Dog went on A5. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.